Yo, what up, Fakafano? Welcome back to a video. It's been a flippin' while since I've seen you guys, and I sincerely apologize. Don't worry, you guys will know by the end of this video why I haven't been uploading. I usually do a video like this every every time, like this time of year, because uh, motivation gets low when when a lot of rivers are closed. But today I'm here on a river that's open all year round. It looks like I'm in the back country, but in reality, there's a road just there. It's a main state highway. And um, yeah, we're just gonna get into it. Hopefully tag a couple fish. Um, in this river particularly, there's not a lot of big fish, but I know there's a lot of small fish. Um, and also, I know that I can also blank. So, <laughs> because they may not be here because of time of year. Um, but anyway, let's get into it. I've got my check nymph rod set up, my uh, my indicator nymph set up, it's just got a single nymph, and also in the truck I've got the dirty old spinner that has a, has a soft bait on it that uh, I might throw into these slower parts if nothing's up in this juicy little bit on the fly. But anyway, let's get into it. Hopefully we can slam a couple trout, and then I'll have a good old chat with you fellas. Let's get into it. Okay, I think I see a trout. I think I see a trout just in here. Um, it'll be interesting. I've never actually caught a trout out of here before, and I think there's something just sliding in and out. But uh, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Been fishing this pool, and uh, didn't have much, but I think I've got a nice brown on here. Looking sick. I was not expecting to actually catch a fish, but just further up off this pool. Hit this nice brownie. This nice brownie. I don't know what he's on. Awesome! Brown! Yeah! Sick! Sick! So sick! Come on, buddy! Nice wee brownie. Come on, mate! Oh. Oh. Awesome fish! Yeah! <laughs> Nice! Oh. So, <laughs> beautiful fish. Just took the pheasant tail, I just switched to a pheasant tail, lifted a rock, saw a, pheasant, saw a few uh, nymphs that look like a pheasant tail, but look at that. Flipping awesome little brown. Oh, wasn't expecting to get anything, but Sweet, right, let him go, thank you, oi, 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 here you go, here you go. Come <laughs> on, oh, buddy, what are you doing over there? Okay, so I've just fished, oh, I don't know if you can see my truck is just there. I fished all the way through there, through that beautiful, beautiful stretch. Only the one brown, I, no sorry, I got two browns, but one was super small, so didn't film him. Um, but stoked to get that like one pound brown, that was sick. I was fully expecting not to catch anything. But now, just got this sick pool just here, that I'm going to chuck the uh, indicator on. It's slow moving and it's pretty big, so chuck the indicator on. Get it through get a few good drifts through there if not there's also a little riffle just further up that i'll go back to check nymphing and then we'll have a chat but for now i'm just anything now is just a bonus because uh i've cracked it we've cracked it we've got that one brown and that's all i really wanted for the day so yeah let's see if we can catch it okay so while i was check nymphing this little run on the back eddy there i saw a fish sitting in a bit of soft water which looks like a brown trout it's not very big probably the same size as that brown trout that i caught before but he's uh sitting very high in the water and uh i thought instead of throwing a bit of tungsten at him put on a parachute at him and let's see if we can get a winter brown on a dry <laughs> so let's have a go and we'll see how easy this is i'm gonna do my best to focus this camera on on me and uh hopefully out hopefully it works out good so you can see the strike 
and hopefully the take shows up on the GoPro. But I'm not confident. All right, put this here, put that there, zoom in. All right, so he's sitting, sitting right in there. All right, hopefully that captures it, the strike perfectly. Well, hopefully he eats it, so. Oh, let's do it. Oh, he's coming close. Oh, oh, oh. Get, it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Yeah, got him, got him. <laughs> Dry time in winter. Dry time in winter. <laughs> yeah, boy. Oh, you beauty. You absolute beauty. He swung, swung for that for ages. You absolute beauty. <laughs> Dry time in winter. Oh, if you guys could see that. He swung miles for it. I think it's a bow, actually. I don't think it's a brown. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah, it is a rainbow. It's a little bow. But I don't care. That's beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, there's my net. What a fish. Beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. Come on, buddy. Get my net off. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on, get the net. Get the net. <laughs> yes. Oh, he's a bit spent, but he's got a dry in his mouth. Oh. <laughs> yeah, boy. On the dry. On the dry. I love it when a plan comes together. All right. It's been... Don't you love it when a plan comes together? I told you it's not a big fish, but look at that. Parachute at him size 12. He came backwards, I don't know, a long way, probably three, four meters to take it. And boomfa. Yeah, boy. So stoked, so stoked. Mwah. Oh well, I think my day can't get much better than that. <sighs> mean, so mean to come out here and to catch a fish on a dry in the winter. I'm pretty sure that's my first winter dry fly. So. And uh, it's also mean just to be out here. It's been a while since I've landed a couple fish, so <sighs> mean. I might go check one more spot, but um, yeah, we'll have a chat first day. Eh? Okay, so I've just switched spots uh, to spot number two. Flipping awesome, I did not expect to even catch one fish today. And if I did, it was gonna be this big, which I did get, but I also got two banger fish. I got two banger fish, like, over my expectations. <laughs> I know they were both a pound, but it was just sick. It's just sick how that, that dry eat was just awesome. And yeah, I just, Flippin' awesome. Anyway, um, yeah, what I want to talk to you guys about. So, as you know, if you've been following my channel for the last couple years, you'll know that I go through a bit of a slump. And it usually happens either around Christmas and all over winter. Now, the reason it happens is, um, basically, over winter, I get lazy. And um, there's a saying, if you want something done, give it to a busy man. And in winter, I'm not busy. And um, so, theoretically, I should have heaps of time to do, um, to do videos and produce videos. But it's just not the way. Like, in summer, I, I am out all the time fishing, um, exercising, doing sports, playing, like, playing cricket. Um, doing things outside and I just have the motivation to also create videos 
and want to make videos as well for you guys. And winter comes around and you start flipping hibernating. And then, um, yeah, I just, I just felt like after the lockdown, my body didn't want to do anything. Like, I seriously just was lazy. And um, it kind of pissed me off a bit. Because <laughs> um, I should be pr producing videos. And um, really, I just need to apologize to Wes from Globite Baits. If you guys don't know, um, I've been sponsored by Globite Baits and, well, or partnered up with Globite Baits and uh, Fishing Innovators. Um, I've shared a bit of their stuff on my Facebook, um, but I've, I told Wes, I was like, yep, now nah, I'll, I'll put out a, a video a month of, um, of me going out, out on the sea now that I've got a boat available. And um, yeah, I'll promote your baits and do all this. And um, I haven't done one video because I'm just rubbish. Uh, I had no motivation of, um, I've actually been out twice and one time I did really well on his Globite um, slider, on the K-slider, flipping slayed some Gurnard and then um, I just didn't make a video and I, I don't know why, there was content there um, but I, 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 I can only put it down to me being lazy and um, just unmotivated so um, yeah, basically no excuses from me on a sadder note team uh, Max Catch NZ, uh, it's fell victim to COVID-19 basically. Uh, I'm no longer sponsored by Max Catch NZ uh, as they have shut down basically. Um, the, the business has been sold to somebody else who I don't know and so therefore basically it terminates any, uh, any partnership I've had with Max Catch NZ. Um, I just want to say a massive thank you to Armin for just bringing me on board. He chucked literally probably thousands of dollars into me, um, giving me, I think I've got three rods, uh, line, um, reels, th uh, two or three reels, a bag, um, two vests, like there was, there was a lot of money put into, into me trying to promote Max Catch NZ and unfortunately COVID's come along and it's, um, you know, put everyone in a bad way and Max Catch has uh, fallen, fallen to the, the graveyard of COVID. So it's a real shame. Um, I really did enjoy their gear. I'm still going to use their gear. You're going to see me using their gear in the videos. Um, I, I don't know uh, where to get it anymore. Um, get Max Catch gear anymore. But I just want to say a massive, massive thank you to Armin. Um, on behalf of me and and the other the um, other members of the of the Max Catch team, just massive thank you, thank you for just giving us the opportunity to um, represent Max Catch, also and also kind of live out a dream. Um, yeah, I've always wanted to be sponsored, and it was awesome being sponsored. So yeah, rest in peace, Max Catch NZ. Um, yeah, it's a real shame. Um, but yeah. Also, team, my other sponsor, New Zealand Fishing Flies, they're still aboard, aboard the, aboard the family. Uh, big thank you to Reese. He's gone through a hard time as well, Fano. Um, uh, you know, I know everyone doesn't have a lot of money to spread around with, with there being no, uh, no tourists. He's getting less and less uh, orders because obviously people come here, they look up New Zealand off flies that work in New Zealand or New Zealand fishing flies and he's the first one that pops up and so you know they order order for him and um, yeah he's in a bad well not in a bad way but his situation isn't good so if you guys want to check out his website that'll be a flipping awesome awesome help um, you know it's winter time glow bugs I think he's selling glow bugs for bugger all at the moment he's got new clear drift glow bugs that he's um, oh, clear drift eggs sorry that he's that he's been tying up so um, yeah, get get over them. Um, search up New Zealand fishing flies. You'll find them. And um, yeah, so yeah, thanks to Reese for sticking around. It's flipping awesome. But anyway, team, today's been flipping cool. Let's get back out into this hole. Uh, carry on the check nymph and uh, see if we can ping one or two, eh? Oh, it's almost the day end. Got out the disgusting, disgusting spinner rod. Uh, I've fished all through this with my fly rod. They haven't hit, so give the spinner a go and see what happens. It's 
when I fished around and uh, I've already fly fished right through this whole flipping thing and I chucked the spinner on and uh, looks like I've got a nice brown trout which kind of pisses me off because <laughs> I, I drifted all the way through there and now there's this like massive brown the biggest fish of the day on spinning gear Ugh. Look at this brown trout. This thing is huge. <laughs> okay. Are you alright buddy? Look at that. What the hell. What the hell. <laughs> all right. I am uh, disgusted. Ashamed. Appalled. Disappointed in myself. I fished all through this for about an hour with my flies just just going along and then I was like you know what I'm gonna pull out this little dirty spinner <sighs> look at that <laughs> it's a five pound brown trout five pounds maybe yeah no, five pounds of brown trout on a spinner Oh, it makes you sick. It makes me sick. I tried for an hour. One whole hour, changing flies, and then I throw second cast, boom. Five pounds of brown trout. Look at that thing. Look at it. It's just disgusting. Oh. All right. Let this bad boy go. Look at him. Swapping beautiful fish. But, oh, spinning gear. Oh. Yo, heaps of energy. <laughs> Where's he going? Look at him. Oh, mate. Get back in there. See you later. Oh. Why? I was literally fishing this for an hour. So many fly changes. And I hit him right in the middle of that pool on the dirty, dirty spinner. All right, team. I don't think I'm gonna to top that, that last fish. I just can't believe that I caught it on this. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. That's just literally a winter fish of a lifetime. Like, especially, it's, it's a hog for this river. It's an absolute hog and I'm not even happy about it. I'm not, I, I seriously wish that I caught it on my three weight check nymph rod or, or even on my, uh, my six weight, like. But I did that, I did everything. He just wasn't eating nymphs. He just, he didn't want to eat natural things. He wanted to eat some steel. Uh, or brass or whatever spinners is made out of. I don't know, but it was a weird day, we got a dry fly eat, we got a five pound brown on the spinner and we got a nice little brownie on the check nymph. So, ah, I guess three different techniques, three different fish. <sighs> Can't be disappointed though, it was a bloody, bloody awesome day. I've only been here for like three hours. Now I'm off to play squash with my mates because I got a couple friends, just two. And uh, yeah, gonna go play a bit of squash sweat it up a bit and then uh yeah i don't know what else i'm gonna do but um thank you all for watching it's been good being back i can't say when the next one is and i'm not going to promise anything it's just a spare of the moment a little stroll of an afternoon i needed to say a few things and uh yeah i'm excited to what's going to happen uh next season i uh, i think I'm uh, going to try to catch a kingfish, lamb based, on the fly rod, I think that'll be cool. And uh, yeah, maybe do a few sea missions and things like that, but uh, we'll see. I'm not going to promise anything because uh, any promises I make haven't been kept. Oh, by the way, waders. Oh, I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, not, not good to see the waders. Not a good angle, see, not a good angle to see the waders, but um, big thank you to uh, Rod and Reel up in Auckland uh, they hooked me up 
we've got a nice deal on these uh, waders so go check rod and reel out they uh they help me out they're way helpful than uh the other people that i hooked up who probably know who they are because they had a sook about me complaining about them not trying to give me a hand and they're like me 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 oh, you complained you complained about us on social media me 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 yeah they know who they are um yeah i just want to say massive thank you to rod and real for uh yeah giving me a hand so anyway thank you all for watching if you did like this video click the like button click that red button to subscribe and uh we'll see you next time whenever that is Later. Yeah.